Uh, this is my uh, Stuart Turner model D10. D10? H10. 10H. D? 10H. 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 Okay. Um, anyway, I purchased this on uh, eBay and it has needed a lot of work. Um, I had to remachine re these two um, these two parts here. These are the, the bearing. They're just brass bearing surfaces, but uh, it's really crazy. I don't know if y'all can see this. This was the crankshaft um, that came with it. And I don't know if you'll be able to see by the video, <laughs> but these are definitely not parallel. Um, uh, this one is higher than this one, so they're not even in alignment. And this is the way that when I purchased it, and I didn't know it was in this condition, uh, listening to Keith Applebaum, uh, he says, you really got to be looking really close. And uh, since this was my first purchase, I didn't look that close. And uh, so anyways, this is what I got. Um, so what, I, what I've done is I've remanufactured uh, the crankshaft. Uh, here it is. I mean, obviously, you're only seeing this after the fact. I, I hadn't really started YouTube uh, video posting. But uh, it is, you may have seen it back on my back wall. But just show you where it's at here. Um, you can see that I've went ahead and I've made, uh, I've recreated the crankshaft here uh, with the mini lathe in the mini mill, and I've recreated all of these pieces. Um, this one, this crankshaft was actually kind of mashed into position. It looks like they kind of beat it. It actually comes apart, as you can see, and it was loose when I got it like this. So it kind of looks like they kind of, kind of mashed it in there just to get it straight. Uh, but it actually did run when I got it, but it was kind of all over the place. So anyway, I used the original, I just took measurements off of it, and I recreated a crankshaft, and I have it mounted now. And, um, and I also recreated these two bearing journals um, uh, with the mill and big pieces of brass. Quite a chore to make these. Um, anyway, so, I've uh, painted it, changed the painting scheme with a dark green on the bottom and a light green on the top. Um, and it's been sitting here. I haven't been working with it a whole lot, uh, but uh, I had to be successful in something. So <laughs> if you watched my previous video about milling my Gibbs, I had a total cast catastrophic failure. I can recover, but I got to tram my mill. Uh, so it's about time to go ahead and watch those. But anyway, I was just, um, I was fitting this down just to see how it would look. You know, I got the screws here, and then I just actually, just to pull this up here, show you. I was just fitting the, um, fitting these bolts on here. Uh, and then, uh, so what I'll be, another, this will be a new line of videos. This will be the Stuart Turner videos. All right, I'm struggling here. You guys all see me. There we go. Uh, so we're starting in the middle of a rebuild, but anyway, I've got a new line of videos. This will be the Stuart Turner um, rebuild. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, if you want to see more of this video, comment, please. All right, thanks, guys.